There is a legend that two royal dudes journeyed to a land before their time in search of the great King Arthur. Our tale begins with our two heroes in their own time. They are about to receive the gift of a lifetime that will help them begin their psychedelic adventure. some groovy jams <laughs> yeah dude far out <laughs> yeah I tell you what I've been stressed lately why I have to take a test on King Arthur man what do you need to know I'll hook you up <laughs> I don't know man just whoa! it's a T1 M3 machine dude what is that all right dudes so T stands for triangle. One stands for one triangle and an equilateral triangle and an M. Three stands for the three sides of the equilateral triangle. Time machine. Dude, excellent! Then we need to go back to the time of King Arthur so we can ask him all the questions so we can pass the test. Dude! You're a pure genius! Let's get ready. Psychedelic find. Spectacular acquisition. Whoa. Dude, are you ready? Yeah, let's take a trip. so different! It's gotta be the effects of time travel. Didn't you read up on this? Yeah. Hey bro, let us find the inhabitants of this excellent kingdom. Hello my good sirs. How do you do? Whoa, this is medieval bro. Hello fellows of Camelot. We are Marty and Jerry, magical wizards from the continent of America. Excellent! What's a continent? Where is your king? Oh, King Uther? Guy's been at Tenta Jail for years now. We now follow our excellent adventurers on their radical voyage to Tenta Jail. Little did the two dudes know that King Arthur was just a newborn legend. Yo, I'm getting some bad vibes from here, bro. <laughs> Van Halen? <laughs> Yo, that's King Arthur! Yo, let's go see him. Why? Remember page four? At this point, Marty and Gerald understood that they knew the future. This meant that they could become the most powerful dudes in all the land. Whoa. I have a legendary idea, man. What if I become Merlin, so I can tell people the future, and I can ask King Arthur our questions face to face? Dude, dude, you are an absolute genius! But Merlin already exists in this timeline, though. What are we gonna do about that?
no, no, no. I need a sword. It's a cat! Touchdown! <laughs> Hello all, we are the Knights of the Square Table. We cannot afford the round table. It was not on sale, nor was it in clearance. It most definitely was not allowed to be conquered by duel. Okay, so today is Wednesday, December 16th. In the year 1420, um, so we are going to start off with notable service. Sir Gawain, could you explain what you did recently? Yeah, I, I raised some gold for that, you know, that damsel's family I killed. But anyway, I've been really trying to help out the community, you know, I'm, I'm just such an idiot. Ah. Sir Lancelot also gave back to the community. Really, really good stuff. You know it, I know it, we all know it. I can't say it enough. Just so much good work. And remember, gentlemen, next week is a special week. We will be holding a fundraiser to raise gold for the round table. And don't forget, Taco Tuesday. All right, any requests? No? All right, meeting adjourned. Return to your current quest. Hello, Knights to Grendel from the great place of Paris. I mean, um, I mean, from the Green Chapel up north. Anyways, I'm here to challenge the bravery of thou knights. You dare march into a meeting at the square table? I mean, yeah, I guess so. But we need to turn the volume down just a little bit. I'm feeling some salt turn to the dark side. But yeah, I am testing your bravery right now. Then it is decided. Sir Gawain? Sorry. Will you accept the Green Knight's challenge? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, anything for you, King Arthur. Yep, you got it. I challenge you to a water bottle flipping duel. Don't ask questions, we have time machines. Yes, you see, you must flip this jug of water and land it upright. Magical dudes, please explain this proposition. It's simple, my dudes. But what is dude? Understand this. A dude is not just as simple as you and me. Whoa, dude. It's radical. Radical indeed. How did the baby get the lake? Whoa, look at this huge forest. You want a donut? Nah, I'm good. Two? Nah, nah, I'm fine. Three? Rule of three is used way too much in literature. I have come to accept your challenge. Do it. Awesome.